The Pinpoint Microgauge Laser System measures flatness and planarity of surfaces and features of all different shapes and sizes. This video provides a brief overview and some examples. The standard microgauge laser body is made of hard anodized aluminum built to withstand rugged work environments. A 10 arc second bubble level is built into the top of the laser for leveling to gravity. The standard microgauge 2D receiver is also constructed of hard anodized aluminum and the body is a 2 inch cube shape. This is a 2 axis receiver detecting the location of the laser in both the X and Y axes with a full range of about half an inch in each axis and 0X, 0Y located in the center. The Pro Display has a color touch screen and shows the measurements obtained by the receiver in real time. Measurements can be recorded directly to the display or it can be attached to a PC to record measurements into pinpoint capture software. The Pro Display features onboard applications such as the bucking in program, which can be used to set the laser parallel through two reference points for straightness applications. The Pro Display can connect to four wide receivers and four wireless. It has a USB and an auxiliary output for connecting to computers or control systems. The leveler rotation mount allows rotation of the laser through a full 360 degrees, thereby generating a laser reference plane. It is equipped with locking knob as well as a fine turn adjustment knob, and underneath there are three fine adjustment knobs for adjusting its level. The leveler rotation mount can be attached to a tripod. Now let's go over some common ways to measure flatness using a table as an example. The first method is leveling to gravity. To start, the laser is placed on a rotation mount and clocked symmetrically to the pitch knobs underneath. Observe the bubble level and adjust the pitch knobs until the bubble is level, then turn 90 degrees and repeat. Once it is level for a full 360 degree rotation, this establishes a laser reference plane that is parallel to gravity and any location on the table can be measured relative to this plane. So pick any location and zero out the reading if preferred, then move the receiver point to point and find locations that need adjustment. Often, technicians will measure the flatness of a surface independent of its relation to gravity. There are two main approaches here, the bucking in method and the interpolation method. Bucking in for flatness means to dial the laser parallel three points on our surface, which is necessary for creating a reference plane. And then typically zero out the reading so the operator can quickly scan the surface for any high or low spots. A three receiver combo, two standard and one transparent, laid out in an L shape, provide a major advantage here and it's easy to see why. First, zero out each receiver at the same location on the table, thus equalizing the scale on all three receivers. Next, form a 90 degree L shape pattern. Then set the display to show all three receiver readings simultaneously. By shooting through two receivers, we can quickly adjust the back pitch knob and level out the laser in that direction until both vertical readings are matched. These two receivers are now reading 59 thou vertically. Then rotate 90 degrees and adjust one of the side knobs to match this reading to 59 thou. This process can take a few iterations, but it is fairly quick. Once all three receivers are matched vertically, we are bucked into the table and we can zero out the readings again. Then take one receiver and scan for highs and lows. This is very quick and very easy. Here we find a low spot by 2 thou. The interpolation method relies on the math programmed into the pinpoint capture software, allowing the technician to skip bucking in, thus saving time. One receiver is adequate here, but multiple receivers can save time when shooting over long distances. Simply record measurements directly into pinpoint capture software or upload to capture after saving measurements on the display. The technician can change variables such as the flatness spec, diameter, etc. And capture will calculate the flatness of the surface and it can also identify points that are out of spec. Thank you for watching.